Okay, I'm back. It's been a while. I'm going to be doing a series on everything that's wrong with each of my cars, and I'm going to be fixing them all inside each episode. Or another part to the Studebaker build. But everything else, like, I'm going to do a series on that piece of junk and all my other cars, and I might be getting more and losing a couple. But let me show you what I've been doing on the Studebaker. Uh, I've been out for a while. haven't been able to do much around the shop or anything like that. Um... I had knee surgery, and coming out of winter, it's been a long trip. So, I took this thing to a couple of car shows, and right over here on the top of the hood, I've been working on it, is uh, the hood was starting to flake apart a little bit, and it was flimsy under here. Uh, let me set these down real quick. And right in here, there's an under layer of metal here, and then the outside skin rusted away and started flapping. So this was actually able to pull apart. Uh, so I, weld, I clamped it, welded it, and it actually sits inside the fender before it was coming over. You could see these are marks from when slamming the hood, it would come down a little bit. Uh, then I acquired the hood emblem. So that's the main reason of doing all this. There it is. So I'm probably just going to silicone these down or caulk them, I haven't decided yet. But these, I bought these for 40 bucks on eBay. They're a little pitted, I keep seeing new sets go for uh, over 200 bucks and I'm not paying 200 bucks for these things. It looks so much better when the hood's down and that and it's not zoomed in all the way. So I'm going to work on that and then show you that when I get done. Um, what else do I want to do? I have a couple plans. I think I'm going to get new wheels. I'm looking into the specs of these and I think these will be going. Because when you take pictures of this thing, you just can't even see the wheels. And I think wheels, a nice set will really make the truck even better than it is. Um, I have a couple hours driven in this thing so far and I haven't had any complaints. Um, everything that you've seen in the videos is the last thing I did to it and that's how it is. I sat all winter and I started driving it. Didn't do anything else so it didn't change the oil or nothing. Um, I started spray painting some of this mat here. I think I'm, it looks a little bit better under the dashboard. So I think I'm going to spray paint all the center of the floor and everything up to the bottom of the window. Just so you can't see it, make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, other than that, the interior has been fine. Uh, I'd like to do a couple other things, but it's fine for how it is now. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do is I want to actually use this truck more and more because I, I mean, I don't have any straps in it, but I'd like to be able to strap stuff down. I picked the couch up in the truck. Uh, before winter and I'd like to mount some D-rings in there but I can't weld them just to the floor of the truck because it's well old rusty flimsy so the best thing to do is I'm going to use these plates I'm going to cut this part off here I'm going to weld the D-ring actually there's a D-ring right here I'm going to weld this to here and then I'm going to weld the plate to the bed so there's more of a surface area uh, it's a little overkill but I think the other thing too is because I'd like to if I ever need to work on the truck I'd like to have the D-rings in there so I could pick the whole bed up off the truck and make things a little bit easier um, and that's really it for this truck this truck has been been great so far I'm just gonna work on cleaning up the uh, Put emblems and I might get to order in a couple other things that aren't necessary but would maybe make the truck a little bit better okay so I got out of work earlier today and I just uh, met up with the UPS guy here so uh, we're on the way right now I got a new set of wheels and tires for the Studebaker so uh, here's the story on that so I ordered some American racing wheels off of Jegs uh, nothing crazy 15 by 7 wheels and I'm waiting. I ordered them. I'm, I paid. I'm waiting. And it's about a week or so after the expected ship date or expected date I'd receive them. So I'm wondering what happened to it. So I started checking my uh, 
credit card account and stuff like that and apparently the money was refunded to me the wheels got discontinued nobody bothered to tell me so I had these wheels coming on the way which which is cool and all and then I ordered tires right away from tire rack and they're here sitting right back behind me so now I have a canceled order that nobody told me about and they refunded me and nobody told me about sent me an email or nothing so Jeg's kind of screwed me here. So I ordered the proper size tires for the wheels that I ordered. I decided to start looking for a replacement set of wheels and since these wheels are discontinued, I couldn't find anything else uh, that would fit these tires. So now I'm looking for not only wheels that I like that would fit my truck, now I'm fit and trying to look for something that'll fit these tires that I have because I don't know if I could return it to the tire rack or sell them, that's a pain in the ass. So I ended up finding one set of these wheels that I had originally ordered because these are what I, I wanted and I didn't want to get my hopes up, you know, I get something else. I, I wanted what I wanted. So I found two 15 by sevens and two 15 by eights for the rear. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's that much of a difference, but these tires will stretch a little bit. I think they'll be fine. You won't even notice it uh, since the tire sidewall is kind of big. But if I originally ordered these wheels, I would have got a size or two bigger on the tires for the rear as well. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, um, but that's how it's going to be. I'm just going to go now and go get a mounted and balanced, and I'm going to go run to the garage and throw them on. You know my truck. These are the wheels I got. I think I paid like 60 bucks for them with, with these tires on it when I put the truck together. They, they're a matching set. They're kind of ugly. But when you take pictures of the truck and they're all shined up, you can't even see the wheels. I wish you could see more of the truck, but there'll be more. I'll take pictures of it. So, brand new meat. You got 205, 65, 15s. Okay, these are the wheels, just sneak peek. And that's it with the center cap on there. Okay, I never hated these wheels that were on there. I just knew they weren't the right wheels for this truck. So they're the same exact same size tires. Uh, the wheels are slightly different spec. Pretty happy with it. So we got 15 by seven in the front and 15 by eights in the rear. They're American racing wheels. These are discontinued. They're VN 502s, I believe. I had to get the little valve stem cap. I think it fits. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it fills the front wheel well a little bit bigger in the front, even though it's the same size. I think the back spacing pushes it out just a hair. And I, this has got a two inch spacer on the front as it is already. You could probably use a four inch spacer. Or could have used eights all around. But I'll show you the other side. This corner was the hardest to get on. What I had to do was I had to pull the fender out while pushing up on the bottom with my feet and oh I love
love it. I can't wait to, it's dark outside. I got this done late and then we got the, it's only like six o'clock but we had daylight savings time just hit. So it's dark as shit outside. So I'm gonna try and pull this outside tomorrow, take it for a drive uh, and get some good pictures of it. It's a completely different look for it. I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked about it. So I'm gonna try and get some fall pictures of it and then I'm gonna take for a little drive, pull the center caps back off, retorque everything, and make sure everything's fine. Okay, so I'm here with the Studebaker. Uh, been just doing a couple little things here and there. I'm gonna put together a whole video. But I got something cool, so I'll show you what that is in a second. But right now, we need to uninstall this. So now I have a free USB port. That's gonna be fun. All right, so I'm gonna yank that out of there somehow. I might have to get a razor blade behind it or water or something. But the next thing I gotta remove right here, it's the easiest way to see it. That's the OBD2 port. It's a little Bluetooth scanner. And we'll come over here and you'll see I got an Insight 2. So right now I'm going to test it out, see how it works. I'm going to plug this in before I drill a hole through the firewall and either put the USB on the inside or put the cable through. But it came with this cool little screen. If you're not familiar with these, these things could do anything. It's configurable dash, kind of like a race pack-ish. They're really popular in diesel trucks. You can set the gauges you want. Um, comes with the windshield suction mount thing. Uh, you can set up warning labels and stuff like that for uh, you can set up different gauges and alarms to come on at different temperatures and speeds and there's so many outputs and inputs that you can configure stuff there's like a quarter mile time thing and uh, I was reading a little bit about it last night but it's it has a couple more features than I thought so it's pretty cool so we'll probably play with those Okay, I got this just plugged in here. Um, I'm just gonna turn the key on for now, see if it boots up, play with it. Uh, if it boots up and everything, yep, it booted up. And if I can get stuff to work, I'm gonna start it, make sure everything works, and then I'll go ahead to the install. So I had to accept a warning label thing. This is kinda hard to do one-handed. So, it's touchscreen. Ignition is on or run position. You select the GM Chevy, is this correct? Yes. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. Um, if you hold the settings, get to that. What do I want? So this is all configurable. It loads. It's a little laggy. So that's RPM there. So you can just click different things until you get what you want. Okay, so this is what I came up with. I just wanted RPM in the middle, uh, miles per hour, the trip meter. Um, I believe there's a way to do an odometer there. So where if it's a new build, you can put it to zero miles and you'll know how many uh, miles you've actually done. This coolant temp, gear selector, I left that one there. Battery voltage, I left that. Trans temp, uh, this is supposed to be throttle uh, percentage. And uh, intake manifold temperature. Um, those are just some of the things... I picked to look at. Um, that's how you do it. There's a second screen you can go to. You can monitor different gauges here. You could also, those are just two layouts. So you can go to layout and then like 
you can so the first screen that I showed you I, that was called master you do it to all digital where you put all those different boxes be different gauges retro theme you can do switches where they would configure things accelerometer these are all needles um, I don't care about that too much it's a little slow it's kinda a little laggy but it seems to work pretty well though what I do so uh, I should go back and show you that what I do okay so just push it hold it I can do an alert setting so uh, temperature alert on sound on set point 225 that will let you know that you're overheating so so it is on sound on sound off so set point uh, it's an LS motor that could take a little bit of heat yeah maybe I'll leave it at 225 and we can exit that um, so I don't know what it would do this truck's never overheated but I mean that would be maybe unplug the fan one day and we'll try that um, you can also do the same thing if your alternator stops charging if it hits 11 volts or something like that when it's running you can set an alarm and it'll buzz at you but that's pretty cool uh, you can do data logs performance like I was saying the drag stuff um, I'm going to play with some more of that but I'm also going to try to install this and get it done